Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your bonus love reading. Hope you guys are doing well. Thought I'd do a few bonus readings for all you people where the weekly doesn't resonate or where there wasn't everything you needed to hear. We'll see if there's some extra info here focusing on abundance and prosperity all the positive things coming towards scorpio all the positive energy coming towards scorpio there you go Ooh, scorpio Ooh, you're doing well there you go prosperity and abundance you do have something coming towards you you may be uh you might be getting a new job earning more money getting a pay raise you may be coming up with uh, some kind of business idea. You're planning for the future. you got something you're planning. And whatever it is that you're doing, you're working on, thinking about or planning to do with money, it's going to work really well. Okay. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you have somebody coming in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly, or somebody else who's got some... Some of you have somebody coming towards you <laughs> that's financially stable. Oh, yes, this person's come, got abundance, so there you go. Yeah, this person might have a little anxiety, though, okay? Or it could be you, Scorpio, a little anxious about this person. Maybe you feel like, I don't know, there's something blossoming between you and someone. If it hasn't come, it's coming, but I feel like it's this person. They might be just anxious to connect with you. Let's see, maybe this person feels that uh, you don't see a future with them, or maybe there's somebody who's, I don't know, you're both very similar. You're both planning something. You both have a lot of abundance, but they're anxious. What is this anxiety? Actually, I'm not going to focus on that. I want to focus on your prosperity, your abundance, the positive stuff that's coming towards you in your life, the things you can look forward to in love, in money, anything to do with your finances and career, just that beautiful abundance coming towards you. What does Scorpio need to know? Oh my goodness, there we go. There you are, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel as though you may have some earth in your chart. You're getting a message or somebody's about to send you one. Someone's thinking about you. Oh yeah, they are coming. Oh, this is somebody very successful. Someone may be thinking about you, but everything that uh, they have, I feel like they're pointing. It's kind of something to do with themselves. You got your back turned. Have you got somebody that, uh, wow, there's so much beauty between the two of you. You could, this could be your boss too. You could be the one feeling anxious because you got your back turned to somebody, Scorpio. Yeah, somebody is, oh yeah, look at that. You, <laughs> this could be you wanting to rush towards this person. <laughs> this person's very successful. They get a lot of attention. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, they're, and they're thinking you get a lot of attention. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This person, somebody is. Look at this person's got some worries. They got a little stress. I, I, it's, I, it's probably them charging at you. You might be a little anxious. This person's coming towards you. You're worried they're not going to stick around. They're coming in just for attention. They get a lot of attention. You're not offering them your cup, though. I can see that, Scorpio. There you are, turning your back. They're wondering maybe why, that maybe you don't like them, you don't feel they're good enough. They're pondering the situation, thinking about all the details. They're thinking about how to reach out, what to say to you. I feel they want success. I feel that they're the ones that, I don't even think it's you. I think they're the one that's anxious and impatient here. Yeah, this person's really trying to get their balance, okay? They do see the possibilities with you. They're trying to make a decision. They think you're turning your back on them, that you have other people, that you're seeing somebody else possibly, um, this star energy. They're trying to kind of find that balance. They feel like you're kind of out of reach or out of their league, okay? 
Yeah, but it could be you thinking maybe they are and maybe you're just turning your back. You don't want to offer them this cup. I feel you're pretty emotional, maybe a little confused about this person, but I actually feel it's them. Yeah, they. I feel as though this person... I feel like they, have, they do get a lot of attention. I do feel they think you're reaching out to other people. I think they want to reach out. I do. I think they feel like... Maybe they think they're out of your league. <laughs> I don't know. You're turning your back. They might have a big ego. Yeah, they might have. A, I think it's them. I do. I think it's them. Honestly, I mean, I know if you're a woman and I know if this is a man to you, right? If this is you here, I, I think you actually, I think this person's got some issues. Um, yeah, see, there's they want to reach out i feel as though they they're not giving you much though they're not sharing much with you kind of breadcrumbing you a little bit tossing you you know they're they got a bit of an ego maybe they tossed you a few hints but i feel they're anxious they actually want to rush towards you i think they're insecure i think they think you're out of their league you're too good for them even though they're the one with the ego that's how i'm seeing it wow confusing but there you go Yes, I think this person's definitely wanting to rush in. Like they look at right here, they want to rush towards you. They want success with you. They want you to give they want you to give uh you their your attention to them, all right? But they think you're you've got other people. <laughs> they don't like it. So you do have somebody here and I as far as your work goes, you definitely uh, making money here. I feel like whatever it is you're working on or planning working on, or if you got plans for the future, it's going to bring you abundance. It's probably just blossoming now. It's just in its baby form, I feel. Wow. Woman holding a coin. Why is this here for Scorpio? Yeah, you actually are probably thinking of offering your cup to someone else. You may have some other options around you. I feel you're kind of holding yourself in high regard here. You're keeping yourself, your emotions balanced. I feel you're, <laughs> you are so ready for some love. Yeah, well, whatever it is you're planning, your financial burdens are going to be over. Okay, the sun is shining. So whatever it is you're doing, it's... Uh, it's going to be very well. You have a lot of responsibilities, though. You're being very responsible. You're planning for the future. This person sees you as someone who's responsible. Okay, they see you. They see the possibilities. They see the abundance between the two of you. They know it's there. But I think this, whatever this person has is doing, they're just breadcrumbing you. They, I feel like they want to offer you um, this cup. They want to offer you this love, this new beginning with them. But I think they feel like you got other people. You're not interested because maybe they reached out to you, breadcrumbed you, and uh, didn't offer you enough. That's what I think. They kind of, too much ego to share too much. They're used to getting all the attention. They're used to people chasing after them, and you're not. So they're stressed out. They want to chase after you. <laughs> You're not having it. If they're coming in for passion, forget about it. You're not giving them that kind of attention. They don't like it. They feel like you're giving all your attention to someone else. So, yeah, I feel like you're having a lot of success. I feel that uh, definitely, I feel like this person's thinking about what to say, what to do. I feel like they want to come and tell you the truth. They actually do like you. They want to come towards you. They see the possibilities of dating you, being with you. But I think they're worried you got people around you. You may be, you know, they may be worried you're getting a lot of attention from people and that you're reaching out to others. Yeah, they want to come around. They do want to come towards you. I feel this person may be at a distance from you. Maybe that's why they're anxious. They want to hurry up and come towards you. They want this success. Maybe they want to tell you that they feel kind of insecure. Even though they have money and they're very stable, generally do well financially, 
I, I feel as though they're not the most generous person when it comes to sharing feelings, emotions. Uh, or maybe they're just kind of cheap too. <laughs> they might be. Let's see where it's going. Scorpio. Yeah, see, yeah. This person, yeah, I feel like they feel like they want to come towards you. They want to cooperate. They see you as a team player. They see you as somebody they could build something with. They do. And I feel like you are very responsible. And I feel like you're really good with your money. Yeah, they see you as very responsible and good with your money. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so some of you are doing really well financially, I feel. Or you're planning something, then they must know about it. They see you as a as cooperative team player, someone who takes care of themselves, their home. They see you as marriage material. They see you as a solid partner. But they're anxious. This person's very anxious. Why is this here? Yeah, they can't see a way forward. See, I feel like this person doesn't like... I feel like they want you, but they don't want to give you anything. They don't want to... I feel like this person's got some... Ser they might be rather selfish or something, self-centered... Yeah, so I feel, yeah, you reached out, they reached out to you, kind of breadcrumbed you, you know, just sort of tossed you a few messages or something. I see this, they just, one little pentacle. They're thinking about this, and I feel like you just kind of cut them off right there, ended it, and maybe you've gone off to have, you may have gotten some other love offers too. I kind of see that energy. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. If you haven't, you may be getting some if you're going through this. Queen of Cups, what's coming towards the Queen of Cups? Yeah, see, yeah, uh, you're you're uh, you're balanced. You're balancing your emotions, your finances. I feel like you're you just keeping your options open. You have some choices. You're trying to make a decision. Yeah, you're you're weighing the pros and the cons here. And I feel like this person, you're balanced, and they came towards you, and they're not as balanced as you. Uh, they're busy juggling money back and forth. You might be juggling money back and forth, but your emotions are balanced. <laughs> I, I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. I think you're always juggling. You're always, but you're balanced. You manage to keep it okay. I feel like they're the one. This person offered you this one little pentacle. They said something. That's that breadcrumb, right? There they are holding it. They're looking at it. Uh, this is where they're thinking about communicating. They're looking at all the details here, and they came towards you with a bit of an attitude. And I feel something wasn't balanced in this offer, what they said, this communication, or this is what's going to happen. Yeah, they offered one cup and nothing more. Yeah, you didn't get what you wanted from this person, and they didn't get, they, you offered them one cup. Maybe you didn't, you kind of kept your feelings to yourself. I feel like you turned your back on them because they weren't, coming towards you in the right way, offering you enough, I feel. Yeah, they're looking at this, right? This is somebody who doesn't want to offer much. I feel like this person might be a little bit cheap, even though they have money. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, see this person, yeah, they see you as successful. I feel like they are successful quite, and I think they, between the two of you, you could build a legacy. You could have a lot of success together. They see it, but they didn't offer you much, and I feel now they're worried, they're stressed. They kind of breadcrumbed you. They were afraid to say, I want to, you know, I want to date you, I want to be with you, I have feelings for you, I want this, I want to start something with you, and they kind of went about it the wrong way. So tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is this here? This Knight of Wands energy. Why is this here? Knight of Wands. Why is this here? Yeah, this person really just wanted to. This could be somebody who rushed in and out. And they kind of rushed in for that passion, looking for that kind of attention. And I think you turned your back. You're like, yeah, no, no emotion, no anything else, no date, no generosity. They didn't give anything. You're kind of like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think you have other people to choose from. And I think you just turned your back. Uh, they know it or that's what they're thinking. If you don't, this is what they think. Yeah, they're looking at this, right? Yeah, this person's looking at the details. I think this person's kind of selfish. I think they're looking at this. They don't want to let go of you. 
they don't and I do think they're selfish I think this person's quite self-centered I feel they trying to hold on to their money they really just want to come towards you and for passion they they feel very passionate about you and I do think they have a lot of feelings they're really having to deal with something it's keeping them rather stuck yeah, there they are. They're holding on to their money. They're quite selfish. This person can be probably quite greedy, a little miserly. They're they don't want to share. That's what they're worried about. They've you know they this person's done well financially. Uh, they planned for the future. Uh, they're trying to hold on to their money. I feel like they don't want to let go of you though, and that's why they're anxious. They want to come rushing in and tell you but they can't they're stuck and it is about money this person's afraid they're trying to figure out how to approach you about this to talk to you like this is their worry this is what they're afraid of they can't see a way forward like you maybe have not seen this bef with this person not realize this is what's wrong but they have this indecision that they can't seem to say a way way forward they don't want to I feel like, too, this person doesn't want somebody who puts a financial strain on them if they get into a relationship. Uh, but they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as someone who takes care of themselves, their money, their finances, or maybe they're not sure if you do. They're afraid of taking on anybody who doesn't have their finances, right? They don't want that burden. They're kind of worried about it, possibly. So, yeah, I feel like they're kind of trying to figure out how to approach you on this. Yeah, they're holding it back. Yeah, they're holding back. They're kind of keeping it to themselves. They don't, they don't know what to say. I think it's mostly about their feelings. More than anything, they're oppressing their emotions. But uh, it's keeping, and the money situation, it's definitely there. But I'm not so sure. I think the emotions is the biggest issue. But they can't seem to figure out what to do, what to say. There's something here this person's not seeing. And I feel like that's what's keeping them stuck. There's something they, they're not getting. Maybe they don't realize that you're financially stable. Maybe they don't realize that you um, are a really good team player. You do your share of the work. And that's what you want. You want a team player. You want somebody who's a team player. You want someone who shares in the responsibility. You're not a shirker of responsibilities, I can tell you that. If you've got this energy here around you, Scorpio, that is so not you. You have that. You're ready for love. You've been planning for love, planning for the future. And if there is no future with someone, you'll just stay single and keep working on your money. Now, love will come, and I know it will. Yeah, you're going to... If this person... You know, you're guarded. You'll stand up for yourself. You might be a little defensive if this person, yeah, they might be a little worried that you might be defensive if they ask you how you do financially because I kind of feel like it is a worry. Tell me about this. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, this person can't get out of their head. They're stressed. Look at that. They keep thinking about you. The possibilities of you being with someone else. They feel like this person sees you as someone who has other options. They can't stand it. I'm telling you. The anxiety. This person's crazy about you. They want you. Tell me about the star. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. This. You have somebody else. Somebody. Uh, you could have an Aries Leo Sagittarius person who has maybe some Aquarius in their chart this is somebody this is one of your other options <laughs> this is somebody who this is somebody who definitely um, has a bit of an ego too but I feel you know what I think this person is going to release some of these fears they're going to get out of their head and find that balance this person wants they want you, they want your love, they want your feelings, and you're just not giving it to them, and they're trying to figure out why, because it's like everybody does, <laughs> they get a lot of attention, um, they are very successful, they want to move towards something successful with you, but they, there's just some things they're looking at, and they're kind of holding back, yeah, they're worried that you're going to walk away though, this is the thing, so you didn't give them that cup, you gave one little cup, 
You didn't share much with them. You just kind of walked away. I feel this person is a little emotionally detached because I know the King of Pentacles could be somebody who's not the most emotionally out there. And if you've got Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, it's possible that you're not... I feel like you're very balanced emotionally. So maybe you're, you know, if you've got that earth in your chart, like some Scorpios can be very emotional, but if you've got some earth in your chart, you're going to be quite balanced. And I actually feel like you're the one who's balanced. This person is not so balanced. I feel like you're trying to make a decision. you got a couple people here. And I feel like you're thinking about all the possibilities with these, with both of them yourself. I feel like you want to make sure you make the right choice because you don't want to make any mistakes that you've made in the past. Okay, you're not offering your cup until things are right. I actually feel like it's this person here too. They want to make sure they come in. They've made mistakes in their past too. That's probably what it is. Maybe this person was married before in a relationship. They've made a lot of mistakes. They want to make sure they make the right choice. They pick the right person. Maybe they had a bad marriage. Maybe they lost a lot of money and they're trying to hold on to their money. I feel like the Prince of Swords is... Yeah, they're not telling you this, though. This person's not giving you... They're not clear yet. They're not sure. They're up in their head thinking, trying to make a decision. It, it More than likely... Um, this is this person's personality as well. They're coming in to fight for this. I feel like this person's worked hard for what they have. I feel as though you do have somebody, I feel, with Aquarius in their chart. Cancer, Pike, or Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Sagittarius. You have that person, but I'm not so sure. I don't think you're talking to them. I think you're kind of done with that person too. I feel like you're not accepting breadcrumbs. You're just done. You're ready for love, and that's it. You're only expecting love, fresh new starts. You want something fresh. Yeah, there you are. You're coming up wanting this love. You want this fresh love. You want, you're want. you holding yourself in high regard, and you're staying there until you get what you want, and you have it. It's coming. So it's either going to be this person getting their act together, and they decide to stop this breadcrumbing and put an end to this ridiculous behavior uh, stop being so cheap and start spoiling you and treating you like the empress that you are because if they don't I feel it will be over because you have everything that you need you're very abundant you um, you've got a lot going for you like there's things that you're doing uh, I feel that are going to bring you a lot of financial success I feel you've got a lot on the you got a lot on the go here you're juggling all the time you have a lot of responsibilities but you handle it really well I feel that you're quite capable I think this person knows it uh, I think you stood up to this person or you will stand up to them I feel as if this person doesn't uh, come in and cooperate and they're not a team player and they don't uh, you know work to build something with you you know this is that path that temple path that um, you know, there's perfect balance here. Or the two of you could work together. You could have so much. I mean, literally build a legacy. You could have so much success together. I think they see it. They get it. They see everything you bring to the table. They see the abundance, the love. They know what you want. They want that from you. But, yeah, I feel like you stood up to this person and you just, you're just single. And I feel they think that you're holding on to them, too. And I feel that they they think you're holding on to them or you've been holding on to them. And I feel like they're, they kind of turned their back to you. And they, yeah, they were holding, they were oppressing their feelings, their emotions. This person's worried. I feel like they're worried that you don't have a lot of money possibly for some of you. Like maybe they're worried that you have financial burdens or something possibly too but i think you're responsible and i think you do very well i think you bring a lot to the table like they know it deep down but mostly this is their emotions you may have stood up to this person um but maybe you'd feel very defensive maybe they're worried that you know you'll be they'll be you'll be defensive if they you know ask you if you're financially stable 
I'm not so sure that's their biggest issue. I don't know why I keep fixating on it. There is a lot of pentacles here. It's like it keeps popping into my head. There's something I can't put my finger on here. I can just feel it. Tell me about this King of Staves. Who is this person? What are their intentions towards Scorpio? What are their intentions? Ooh. Ooh, this person's thinking. They're thinking about you a lot. They have Aquarius in their chart. Interesting. Do you know who this person is? They could be an Aquarius with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. In fact, they actually could have Scorpio in their chart as well. Um, but I feel, yeah, they're definitely very... Somebody here wants to tell you what they're... In. They're thinking a lot about you. I think they're... I actually feel this person wants to offer you love. Um, they feel like it's kind of over because you're not talking to them, not reaching out to them. Yeah, they want to offer you love. This is somebody is very... You have someone here who's very clear that they have feelings and they want something. Yeah, they... They, they're they quite strong and quite confident. So you do have two. Um, or it could be this one, gaining that strength and confidence coming in to, you know, to level up, to come in and uh, make their intentions clear that they want to put an end to this breadcrumbing. They don't want you to reach out and talk to anyone else. Um, somebody might ask you what your intentions are. <laughs> they want some clarity. They want to know. But it could go either way. But I feel, I, I see some Leo here. Some of you, this could be a Leo. This is somebody who's um, quite confident. So you got someone here who's afraid to make the mistakes of the past. It could be the Aquarius person here. These energies can, because you could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So you might have someone who's afraid to make mistakes of the past. Um, they're trying to balance their emotions here, that inner balance, uh, purging and releasing something that they did in the past before they need to come towards you. Again, it could be the same person, but I feel for some of you, there's definitely two. And there is someone here who does, they are confident, they know they have feelings. They know they do, they know this is a strong connection. So tell me about this Empress energy, fertility. Yeah, you bring a lot to the table, Scorpio. You have some beautiful energy. You may have Taurus in your chart. You may have Libra or something in your chart too. Fertility, tell me about this. Some of you anyway, don't have to. Yes, yeah, this person, right? This person's afraid. Yeah, they're afraid you're going to... Yeah, I feel like you, you have a little bit of fear that this person's going to hurt you. But um, I think this person's afraid of your power, the power you have over them too. I think that's the biggest thing because you have so much. You're the one with all the strength. Maybe you're the one with the strength and the confidence here. Maybe you are the one who kind of has the power because you're now, they're now afraid that they're going to be hurt. They're worried about a third party situation. You may be holding yourself in high regard, not allowing this person any anything physical. You've turned your back. You're no longer sharing any emotion. Um, you, I, yeah, I feel like you may think this person's juggling, so you're not offering them anything. So you're maybe afraid to get hurt. Some of you, some of you, it's the other, this person here who's afraid. Okay, hard, having a hard time seeing a way forward. They're afraid. You have the power. They don't, I think someone's not really liking that because they're used to getting all this attention and you're not. But I think you are afraid of being hurt. I do. I think you're very afraid of being hurt and you're keep the third party situations juggling. Maybe they think you're juggling and they're afraid to be hurt. Somebody is here. Someone's afraid to make mistakes of the past. Maybe someone, one of these two people, they're just not telling you that they, you know, they're afraid that you have other people. Maybe they're afraid to be hurt because it's happened to them before. Yeah, it's happened to them in the past. There you go. Yeah. They have sweet feelings for you, though. Yeah, see, so yeah, they're afraid you're going to, because you get a lot of attention, so they're worried that you've got lots of options and they're going to be hurt. Wow. 
Yeah, and you're successful. Yeah, they're not so sure. I feel like you're not so sure about one person and somebody else isn't sure about you for the same reasons. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing, Scorpio. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're afraid this person gets a lot of attention that because you've been hurt. Now, maybe it's not them. Maybe you've just been hurt in the past. You want to make sure you make the right choice. Okay, so it could be you. But it could be somebody else coming towards you with that energy. But you're worried about that with this person. This person's worried that you're, you get a lot of attention, have options, and that they'll be hurt because they've been hurt in the, fa in the past. Crazy. Am I explaining that right? I'm like, ugh. <laughs> it's tough sometimes ten of pentacles why is this here there we go yeah so i feel like this person yeah they they're trying to get themselves stable grounded i feel that this person likes to be in control yeah they're used to having all the control because they get have a lot of success and money so they have all this power right they want to come towards you but they're they want something stable, but they're trying to control their emotions. They don't want to lose that power. So they feel like this is somebody who's like, what are they, just so old school? Where the heck was this person raised where they feel this is somebody who's, if this is a man, this is somebody who's very old school. Like if you share your feelings, you're weak or something. But this for somebody who has probably has very deep feelings. This is the thing. So they bury them because maybe they were taught. I don't know. I'm, maybe that was how they were raised. Maybe they got a lot of attention when they were young. And they just kind of grew up to be somebody with quite a bit of an ego here. I actually feel like both of these people around you have egos. Because they're used to getting a lot of attention. Yeah, see, but yeah, but as soon as I said ego, see, they're actually really insecure. This person's actually insecure. And I feel like they're lonely, too. I do. I feel like this person's lonely. Feel They feel like they're not good enough for you. Scorpio. Ah, that's tough. Why not just talk about it? Yeah, they don't know what to do. So let's see where this is going. I'm going to wrap this up. It's just going to go in circles here. What is the outcome of this situation? Yeah, balance. Somebody needs to get their emotions in balance here. Because somebody's not balancing their head and their heart. Someone's trying to be logical here, right? They're trying to, and they need to purge that. Somebody's trying to be logical, not emotional. And they know they're trying to gain the strength to share you, share their emotions with you to do this. But this is somebody, they could be somebody who, you know, uh, for you women, this is a, a male, a real man's man that feels like it's weak or something possibly to do that. So they're, but they're very logical. They're really, they do want to make their intentions clear. You've got two people, one of them definitely, the if there's two, the the fire sign person uh, or an Aquarius, Libra or Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini or a Sagittarius, yep, that person will wear their heart in their sleeve. So there is someone here who's wearing their heart on their sleeve. They'll put it right out there, but the other person not so much. Someone needs to find that balance between head and heart. But there's love. Oh, Scorpio. You got some you got some real winners here, yeah. See? This is that temple path. Gotta get on the same page here. Okay, that's the three of pentacles right here. That's the temple right there. Okay. Right there. Getting on the same page. Cooperation, teamwork, compromise, working together to build something. I I think this person who once they get their emotions in balance. I think they're coming towards you, and I think this is, they know you're the right person. They know you're the person for them, and they I know, they do. They know they have to come towards you in that way. Yep, they do. They don't want you to go off on a new direction. They don't want you to go off towards someone else, else and meet somebody else. I feel this person's, uh, wow, 
they I feel like they're gonna reach out to you on social media or something or they're afraid you're just off on a new path and you're gonna meet someone new so I feel like they're feeling a bit defensive right they it's like they want to block your way they want to do something to keep you from getting away and they don't know what to do they can't see a way forward so one more card for Scorpio there we go whoops yeah cornucopia yeah, I, I feel like you have a lot going on. I think you've got cornucopia. You've got, I'm talking work and money. Whatever it is you're planning for your own self, minus love, whatever it is you're working on, keep working on it. It's going to be a big payoff. And when you come together with this person, the two of you together, if you can get on the same page with this person, I feel like they need to do it though. I feel like they need to come towards you. I do feel like you have another person who wears their heart on their sleeve, but I'm going to be honest. I feel like you're going to not talk to this person anymore. I do. I feel like you kind of want to end it with this person. They might be too out there, too emotional. Um, I feel they uh, they kind of focus on the passion too much too. Like they're. I feel like they're quite balanced in a lot of ways. They are emotional. I mean, it's right here. They wear their heart in their sleeve. But for some reason, there's something here that I feel like you're going to end it with this person. Or you're going to end it with this person and go for this one. I think you're weighing the pros and the cons between these two people. Trying to figure out which one is best suited. Which one's going to bring you the most happiness, the cornucopia. Uh, well, shall we check and see who will bring this cornucopia to Scorpio? Who's bringing in the cornucopia to Scorpio? Who are they? The person that you have the strongest feelings, this person here, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this person that's financially stable, grounded, practical. Um, this person is definitely, um, there's a lot of strength between you. They are actually the stronger person uh, for you. Wow. So there you go. That's your person. Justice. This person's just right for you. There's, yeah. They need to come in right though. They need to find the confidence to come towards you. Yeah. They need to come in. They need. Look at that. They need to come. You have to hold yourself in high regard. Don't move. <laughs> they have to come towards you right. And I feel like that's what you've been trying to do. You are afraid of being hurt though. You're afraid to invest in this person, but I feel like you're waiting patiently. And I feel you are afraid, and that they may be afraid too. Yeah, you're afraid they won't invest in you all the way, but I think they will. And I do think they're kind of all over the place right now. This person's a little out of control. They kind of are trying really hard to fight this. They want to use all the power they have to try to control this situation. Uh, but you're not on the same page. And that's what you need to do is get on the same page. Leave this person be. Let them sort themselves out. Okay? Um, do not give this person control. You have the power to control this. If you can just be patient and wait. Don't move. <laughs> okay? Don't move, Scorpio. Okay? Take care, you guys. I wish you the best. Bye for now.